Good afternoon, students. So now we'll see how to draw a geological map. To draw a geological map. So before we start, or before we discuss about how to start a uh, draw a geological map, let us understand few of the points which are very essential for the understanding. In this, this is the this is the geological map which is being given. And first, understand how to hold this map. The important part is this holding a map. When you hold a map, here there is a north direction. This north direction should be always away from you. Should be always away from you. Okay, that is the most important task of the holding a geological map. Next is the scale. Scale can be towards you. Uh, sometimes we write down the scale randomly, so it cannot be near to you. But north direction should be always away from you. The second important point that with the geological map, we'll be drawing. The sections will be drawing the sections, and these sections will be along x and y lines. So here there is a point called as x is given, and here there is a point called as y is given. These two points will help us in drawing the section. Uh, the section can be drawn uh, anywhere based upon your requirements. Based upon your requirements. So if we have, uh, if you want to construct a tunnel, that section may be different. Uh, the line of section may be different. If you want to go for the dam, the line of section may be different. So based upon the purpose, we give the section lines. And uh, we draw a sections, geological sections, which are called as. These are very important in all kind of civil engineering project projects. Major civil engineering projects covers with this. Major civil engineering projects covers with this. Okay. So next point in this, you will see that there are points called as dotted lines, and there are continuous lines. So this dotted line indicates the contour lines. Dotted line indicates the contour lines, while the continuous lines indicate the bedding planes. So the, let us understand what is meant by contour line. The contour lines are the lines joining the equal elevation, and that's the reason they have so-called the values. They have so-called values. They have so-called values. You can see this for continuous lines. The values is given as 600. Values given as 500. Values given as 400. Values given as 300, and so on, and so on. But there is no there is no contour values, or there is no values for the bedding planes because the bedding planes are nothing but the a line which separate the two beds. Here you will see that this is the line and there is a suppression of M and N. There is a suppression of M and N. There is a suppression of M and O. There is a suppression of O and P. There is a suppression of P and O. And sequentially it is gone. This is nothing but the bedding plane. This is nothing but the bedding plane. So we will be drawing a section with respect to the geology, with respect to the contour lines as well as with respect to the Contour lines with respect to the uh, sorry bedding plans with respect to the bedding plans. The first important task which you need to perform is first you have to draw the section line that is x y line. So what I'll do is I'll just hold the scale here and I will draw a section line that is my x and y line. I will draw it. Yes, this is my section line. The next important task we need to copy this points the, uh, the values of contour as well as the values of so called uh, the bedding planes on the paper. This is called as taking down the values. So what I will do is I will take a map, I will take a white sheet, I will exactly coincide this paper with the geological uh, the section line along the section line and then I will start mapping or start plotting the points. Okay, I'll start plotting the points here. Okay, so first of all, I'll mark the point X, and second, I'll mark point Y here. I'll mark point Y. That is more important parts points because you should not move this paper till the last end of this. So what I'll do, I'll take the first point wherever the contour line is cutting. I'll take it, and as this contour lines, I got the values. So I'll note down the values also. The value of this is. 600 same way same way i'll check that okay this is my bedding plane this is my bedding plane and bedding planes don't have any values they don't have any values so once they don't have any values then it is understood that on the either side there are few beds and we need to note down these beds names we need to note down these bed names for example with respect to this point the on the left hand side we have the bed called as m and on the right hand side we have a bed called as will be marking down like this. Next, I'll take another point. I'll take another point. The value of this is 500. Then I have a contour line whose value is smaller line you have to draw and value is 400. Then I have a bedding plane 
I should take a bigger line. I should take a bigger line. And this bigger line is N and this on the other side I have O. Then I have again a smaller line. This value is 300 and the bedding plane is there. This value is O and this side it is P. Then again a smaller line 200. Then I have a smaller line again 200. Then I have a bigger line. This is P. This is O. Then again a smaller line. I have 300. Then bigger line O N. Then this smaller line whose value is 400. Then a smaller line value is 500. And then again a bigger line whose value is value value value. Yes, this is N this is m and the value of this is 600 okay so now let's check once the whether we have copied on all the points or not we'll check almost all the points we have copied down almost all the points we have copied down. so first task is over uh, first task is over once we complete this once we complete this we should take a white sheet white sheet and we should measure the x y line i have already drawn the x y line here so how i did i had taken a scale i had taken it measurement from the bottom i had taken measurement from the bottom coincided my scale with respect to the bottom plane coincided with um, the bottom plane i had taken a line here okay and then by x y line also i plotted x y line also i plotted here okay this is my x and y points now the immediate next task is i should copy as it is the points on this white sheet so i'll start here this 600 then the bigger line this is m and n the smaller line 500 bigger line 400 smaller line 400 again a bigger line n and o here again 300 then bigger line o and p then you have 200 then again a smaller line 200 bigger line p and o smaller line 300 bigger line o and n then i have 400 then i have 500 bigger line n and m then this is 600 okay i have copied on all these points i copied on the all these points now the paper task of this paper is over i'll keep it aside now let me take the map once again and see there are few points which we need to note down here. The first point is the scale is given here and the scale is how much? 1 centimeter is equal to 100 meters. So this 600 value of the contour if I convert to that scale it will be 1 centimeter. So I will write down this. I will say here I will write down at this bottom corner that scale is equals to 1 centimeter equals to 100 meters okay so this is my scale now what i will do is once i get the scale i have few values of so called have few values of so called our uh, contour values contour values with this contour values i will draw the profile you have already drawn the profile in the previous semester maybe so the profiles are nothing but that they are drawn with respect to the rs with respect to the uh, values or the with respect to the elevation point. So same thing I will be doing it here but the scale is 1 centimeter is equal to 100 meters. Once I have a scale is 1 centimeter to 100 meter then what I can do is I should draw a point 6 centimeter here. Then what I will do I will take this point I will take this line exactly coincide with the my datum line exactly coincide with the dot, datum line and then I will plot then I will plot a point as a first point. I will plot a first point here. Same way, next is my 500 point. Next is my 500 point. Same way, 400. This point should be exactly perpendicular to the baselines. Exactly perpendicular to the baseline. Okay. Then again, 2 centimeter. This is 200. Then again, you have a 200 here. Then 2 centimeter I will draw.
then 300 then again I have 400 then again I have 500 then again I have 600 so all these points I had drawn it now all these points I have drawn it now once I get this all these points my immediate next task is to join this point join this point and how will I be joining I will be joining with a free hand drawing with a free hand drawing so what I will do I will start from this corner at one lot you have to draw you should not make like zigzag zigzag you should not you should draw it in a one line so what I will do is I will start from here and at this corner I will go a bit down and then I will just continue this and I will extend till the x point same way on this side also I will extend till my y point freehandly I will extend then I will join the x point even I will join x line here then I will join y line here I will join y line over here I'll join a Y line here. Okay. So my profile for this is ready. My profile for this is ready now. Okay. Now once my profile is ready, my first task is over. My first task is over. After this, I should draw. After this, I should draw a bedding lens. How I will be drawing it? The easiest way is again I'll take now earlier this profile we had drawn with respect to the contour lines with respect to the so called our values now here onwards i'll take the bedding planes I'll, I'll take the bedding planes so i'll mark the point here this is my bedding planes right so i'll mark my point here okay and then i'll mark my point over here i'll draw my point over here again this should be also exactly perpendicular this should be again also for exactly perpendicular okay now i transport all my bedding planes or the bedding points over here now once i complete this the immediate next task is to draw the beds so now these are i'll tell these are called as horizontal beds because if you observe this map here you will see that the contour lines and bedding planes are not cutting each other Contour lines and bedding planes are not cutting each other. When they are not cutting each other, then we should understand that they are they are horizontal beds. They are horizontal beds. When they are cutting each other, we'll see in the next map what to do with that part. Okay, here they are not cutting means they are horizontal beds. When you have a horizontal beds, these beds will be exactly these beds will be exactly perpendicular. Uh, sorry parallel to the datum line to, to the datum line so what i'll do i'll just hold this this is, this is called as a roller scale the roller scale this is this is used to draw the horizontal beds this is, this is used to draw the parallel lines okay so now i'll be kind of coincide with the baseline and then i'll shift it on the top okay and i will draw my first line i'll draw my first line same way same way this side also again parallel to this i'll draw a line over here parallel to this i'll draw a line over here okay same way parallel to this this means either to this point or to this point i'll just draw another bit Okay, so I'll draw another bed like this, another bed like this. Same way, I'll repeat this task on the this side also. I'll repeat the task this side also. Okay, then I'll repeat it here. Okay, then I'll repeat it here. But you should take care that it should not disturb a lot. Now again from here, parallelly. I'll draw another point here. Parallelly, I'll draw another point here. Yes. Now another point parallelly, I have drawn it here, and you will see that this everything is now plotted. These are called as horizontal beds. 
these are called as horizontal bits now most important task we should name them so you'll see that here here this this is the point on my left hand side i have a point called as m so i'll name this on the top it will be m so this also will become m this is n n this is o this is also this is p okay so you complete this this is the first task another task which we need to do is we should drop a index we should drop a index so how i'll draw the index i'll just take this i'll draw a line then another line i'll indirectly i'll plot a i'll create a table i'll create a table i'll create a table here how many beds i have i have four beds okay i have four beds so i draw five lines because i need one top part as my this remaining i'll erase it remaining point i'll erase it and i'll say this is my bed this is my thickness so from the top top is m you'll see here top bed is m n then bottom bed is n this is o and this is p okay now we should write down the thickness now what will happen this is the top bed this is the top bed here the top bed has a sequence of m so this top bed will be always we call it as younger bed then next bed we can calculate we will measure it this is 2.3 means scale wise this is 230 meters then the next bed will calculate measure this is one means 100 meters this will become older bed this will become older bed okay now i'll write down here at the center as geological map number one and section along x y section along x y this is what we need to maintain we need to mention okay geological map number one and section along x y once you complete this the next immediate task that you should color it this is also a most important task I'll just color it. Okay, this is how we should color. Okay, should give a light color, but without much dirty colors, or don't make it too dark. It can be a light coloring. You can go for it. You can go for the light coloring of it okay once you give this light coloring whatever color you give the same color should be presented over here also okay the same color should be provided here also this is also most important task which we need to perform similarly you give other colors to other beds as well other colors to other beds as well okay so one, once you complete you will see the map in this fashion okay so this is how the map should look this is how the map should look and this has more application part as this is the first map which is horizontal bed map okay successfully will study few more maps in order to better in for better understanding of this maps and the better applic part of understanding the application part of this okay so i thank you all here i request everyone to practice this you will get uh, the map uh, the copy of this map in my uh, web, uh, on my website you can go to the link is in already in description okay you can take down this description and download the map take out take out a printout practice everything if you have any problems you can feel free to contact me thank you